Luckily, RCMP is hosting the SIPM this year, so we just thought we'd put out a, a small display of some of the vehicles that we have that aren't really seen very often. The Tesla is, is something that we just uh, were mocking up and seeing how that's received by the, by the members. So they're just concept vehicles at this point, okay. but we'll see how the technology works and how they play out in the members' day-to-day -day workings, and uh, we'll go from there. Introduce yourself for us. I'm a PG-1 from the Department of National Defense based in Kingston, Ontario. I'll be volunteering here for the three days sessions. I'm from Mexico. I work for the Canadian Embassy in Mexico City. I'm procurement officer. Okay. I work for DAD. I'm a policy analyst, business policy analyst. I worked for Shared Services Canada and I'm on the P2P team called PSDM. I'm a procurement officer with uh, <clears throat> RCMP contract and procurement. I'm a supply team leader with Departmental Acquisition Services at PSPC. I am a supply specialist at Departmental Acquisitions at PSPC. I acting deputy director at Global Affairs Canada. Okay. I work for Shared Services Canada. I'm acting senior director at Shared Services Canada on policy compliance and governance. I'm a reporting team lead for Transport Canada. I'm a senior procurement manager at Transport Canada. It's my boss. <laughs> <laughs> He's my team lead. <laughs> He's great. And what brings you to SIPM today? It's a great networking opportunity that a number of my past colleagues have attended and said that they've got a lot out of, as well as picking up some odds and ends and tips and tricks from the various classes, some keynote speakers. I think that's the, at least my own personal theme of SIPM is trying to gleam out those golden nuggets. It was proposed to me and it was interesting to see all the presenters and being able to have a peek and see what's happening here and see all the professional presenters. We have training which it will last one week and we take advantage of that by being here and attending this symposium which is very interesting for me. I'm always looking for innovation. So always finding out what's going on somewhere else. Maybe we can use it where we are. I had the mentorship with Caroline. I would like to get more networking and know what's happening in the procurement future. And yeah, that's why I'm here. SIPM has brought me here because of all the opportunities for networking and the workshops and the guest speakers. And I'm running into people that I haven't seen in years because we haven't been together for so long so it's been a pretty exciting day so far and I'm here tomorrow again yeah this is my first SIPM my second conference I've ever been to so yeah, I'm just taking it all in and just seeing what everything's about and I love meeting new people and just seeing what they're about and what they have to say about what organizations they're representing for me it's my first time so I've heard really exciting things I've been with the department five years and with COVID and everything haven't really had the opportunity to go. So it was word of mouth. And then I was like, the first in person one back, I got to try it. So we talked to our director and he agreed to give us a few passes. And we lucked out. It's a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah, basically, same thing. And I love the speaker, especially Caroline Landry. She's really excellent. I think she has some really incredible things to say. I've brought people from around the world. I had eight people, two from Mexico, one from Washington. One from London, Brussels, Berlin, Delhi, and Manila. And I'm holding a training program this week. I've always enjoyed coming to SIPM and I feel like my officers in the field are really benefit from kind of the, the knowledge that emanates from this, this event. So, and then it gives me the opportunity to connect with my confrères in the field of the and to share the new ideas how to pass it to attain a level of excellence on the level of provisionment through the government. And any sessions that you're looking forward to today? Most of the material management ones, because that's my focus. I'm looking at forecasting and planning, which is coming up later in the week, and then why we manage material, which is later on today. In fact, I think it's the next one. I'm looking forward to the, uh, the pro services sessions because I'm dealing a lot with the pro services yeah. and uh, would like to know more about material management as well. I'm looking forward to the women in leadership talk yeah. later today. So, yeah. It's vendor performance, like helping manage vendor performance and stuff. With the way industry is changing so quickly, to get any kind of insight in that is really helpful. And we're looking forward to learning in that an aspect for sure. I will take lots of knowledge back to my colleagues at the embassy in Mexico.
I think by just hearing what the panelists were talking about, I think we're facing like the same issues. So like conflict management, how to deal with clients. I'm looking to attend those related topic sections this morning. Goodness, I've been really concentrating on my training program. <laughs> I'm excited to see what they think about it. So we're going to go in on in class on Thursday and assess what SIPA meant to them and see where that goes. I'll just be meandering my way through them and <laughs> trying to network out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And the more interesting ones are often sold out, so we're locked out without the session we wanted to attend to because at our first top picks were sold out okay. and the doors are closed. What did you think of the workshop? It was a great workshop. It's different, definitely informational in terms of like how to get the work done properly instead of, instead of being overwhelmed by different kinds of work, focusing on one or two aspects of the work at a time and then managing your time properly so that you don't get over well. It was wonderful. It was really good. They went over backlogs and kind of the strategies on how to maybe reduce it in the future. So for our procurement officers that are really switching between files back and forth, it's really good that they just focus and put a visual aspect to the workload that they have and put it in bite-sized pieces and then work with the client. Instead of sending a hundred emails, just have a conversation. It makes everything so much better. It was really good. We, it was really interesting. We loved it. Future procurement. It's actually my first participation in that conference and it's been a wonderful experience. Whether it's the breakout sessions, the different topics that they discuss, very amazing. Like today, for example, it was about career development. I was able to listen to some executives that shared their personal experiences and their careers. And personally, it's, I've learned a lot and, and it was great to be part of this particular event. How did you feel the events going so far? I found this year they were so creative. There's a lot of little things that are super fun, like surveys, bingo, that type of stuff. Like you can have the CP money. I, I don't know thought about that, but I, I think it's great in addition to a lot of interesting sessions. I think they have done, you, they usually do a pretty good job at organizing, but today, this, this year is fantastic. This has probably been one of my favorite SIPMs that I've been to. I, maybe because it's after the pandemic, everyone seems to be here from everywhere. So it's really full. It's been all great to connect with the old colleagues and meeting new people. So I just, I've really enjoyed it this year and I'm looking forward to, uh, to next year. Ho hopefully this carries on. I'm very thankful of all the volunteers that dedicate their time to present and all the people we get to meet. Extremely well organized. I like how they keep things moving. In the last uh, session I was in, they had the five minute sign up to really to try and keep things moving. I, when things go long, right, they can mess up the schedule. Otherwise, the speakers have been good, succinct and efficient. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. You get to see your old colleagues if you've moved around departments and it's just been so excellent. Almost like a family reunion and it's just such a great networking opportunity for everybody. It's just been so wonderful. I concur. She said it perfectly. I think as a leader, I think it's important when you're seeing your staff achieving their, when they got an award. I nominated them and I think that it's important to recognize the hard work being done throughout the years. And seeing the smile in my staff when you were receiving the words from me, it made me proud yesterday. How does it feel uh, to be a recipient for a September of Award? Oh, it's really honoring. It's and been great to be on the board of directors for so many years, and uh, they're a really great group. So, so tell me, miss it. I'm very honored, yeah. <laughs> privileged, and surprised. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Fantastic. We've got a really strong team and it's nice to have recognition for a job well done. It's an actual honor of being recognized for a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of hard work, a lot of collaboration with a lot of good folks into building a program from scratch. And no, it's just, uh, it's just thank you for the recognition. I work for GC Surplus of Public Services and Procurement Canada. I'm the Communications Manager for the Office of the Public Sector Integrity Commissioner. I'm a Policy Analyst at Environment and Climate Change Canada. I'm the Director of Business Development with QMR Consulting. I work for RICO. I manage the federal government portfolio. 
On behalf of RICO. I'm the Assistant Administration and Procurement with RFP Solutions. I work at the Treasury Board of Canada Secretariat in the Communities Development Office. I am also on the SIPM Board of Directors as well, so I am wearing two hats at this conference. We're both with, so we're account reps with CoreCan. Founder, President of the Procurement Alliance of Canada. I'm a sergeant with the National Police Intervention Unit here in the headquarters with the RCMP. I work for Indigenous Services Canada. I am one of the Ontario Regional Lead for SIPM, so I'm volunteering and I'm be a sponsor for we have the workshops. So I'll be introducing speakers and actually I was just like so excited because this is the first in-person workshop since 2019. And then look, I met up with my colleague that I haven't met for the last, I haven't seen for the last five years. So this is perfect. And look, my manager, come over here, perfect timing, perfect timing. My manager right here, my wife, yeah. So what brings you to SIPM? Yeah. Oh, uh, SIPM, uh, I would say networking, getting to meet to different people from different areas. Uh, so it's, it's a great experience and also to get some experience that I was lacking. Yeah. So we are looking for like more opportunities. So currently we are working with Public Works. So we are trying to like leverage our like expertise to other departments as well. We've been working with SEPM for a number of years now, probably close to a decade. Yeah, so we're excited to be here. We're a management consulting firm that works with the government all across Canada. We have about 450 consultants on contract in the government and we range from corporate management where we do financial, HR, communications and of course procurement which is one of the reasons that we're here today. I'm many the booths today. I'm just answering questions as they come in and it's yeah. SIPM and ASAS Community Development Office share a similar mandate in that we are interested in the professional development of the procurement and material management communities. So it's really a natural fit. I myself would have been here anyways because I'm also on the board of directors. But I'm really happy that the organization I work for also gets an opportunity to participate here as well. So I am working on the Net Zero Challenge and that is a voluntary initiative for businesses operating in Canada and it encourages them to create net zero by 2050 plans for their business. Just talking to people and getting the word out about the net zero challenge. Outreach and education. We want to inform all public servants and everyone in the public, federal public sector about what our office does. We are part of the federal whistleblowing regime, so if someone witnesses a wrongdoing, they can confidentially report that to our office. So we're hosting a booth to showcase who GC Surplus is, what we do, and the services that we offer in terms of a divestment and material management. Because a lot of my projects involve procurement, all my procurement people that I work with are here, and they left me nothing to do except to come here and be with them. <laughs> we manage the procurement strategy for Indigenous businesses, so we're here to spread the word. The government has a mandate that we have to spend 5% of our budget on Indigenous businesses, so we manage that program in order to help Indigenous businesses register and take advantage of the contracts with the government. I've been a fan of SIPM, attended SIPM for many years, exhibitor this year's speaker, so I'm presenting a topic on the no-bid dilemma this afternoon, which is pretty exciting. So yeah, just a just big fan of the event community. Everybody shows up at SIPM. It's the place to be. Can you briefly introduce yourselves? I'm the manager of the Business Dispute Management Program at Public Services and Procurement Canada. We were presenting on resolving conflict in federal procurement. I'm the ADR practitioner. I'm the executive director for the procurement and commercial aspects of the high frequency rail project and today we were here to introduce the project and how we are doing to deliver this project. No? A special focus on the procurement framework to deliver the project. Hi, it's Al Garlinski and I was here presenting power presentations how to alleviate stress when you're in a high-stakes situation. I'm the program manager in the Fairness Monitoring Program at PSPC, and my colleague and I, Michelle, presented on Fairness Monitoring, what's in it for me, meaning what's in it for a procurement specialist. I work at the Treasury Board Secretariat at the Centre for Grading Government, and I was a speaker at this session here. I spoke about a new standard, green procurement standard, that we launched last fall. How did you feel that the presentation went with the procurement officers? I think it was really good. The, we didn't plant any questions and we had a lot of questions. So that's, for me, that's a sign of success. Yeah, and we actually went about three quarters of the way through, we just went to questions because th they were asking questions that would lead to the other stuff in our 
presentation. So it's, it's a lot better format. And they're engaged. So this was a pleasure. I think uh, they were very interested, very engaged. We had very limited time for questions, but we had the opportunity you know, to spend some time after the meeting you know, with them. And it's an exciting project. And I think that's why the participants, they were interested you know, to know how we are delivering this important project and the innovative way that the method, no, the P3 with the co-development approach, how we are adjusting the procurement model to, to deliver this project in the best way to protect the public interest of Canadians. No? I think it was pretty positive. Yeah. Got some good feedback and asked for my email to get some of the tips afterwards on presenting very effectively and yeah, yeah so it was great. Apparently everybody loved it. We had not very much time for questions but we ended up getting very many questions they were very pertinent but there was a lot of interaction i think it went well i think it was well attended many people uh, were aware of the issue we are trying to address i think we were able to convey a lot of relevant and new information to them and i hope they use it and they we and this is just the beginning